So Lou Jr. has lost three teeth in like the last 10 days. <laughs> so now he looks like every 40-year-old Alabama fan that I've ever seen. So it's the night before the game tomorrow, so pretty much everything that can be said has already been said. Um, a couple of last-minute things here. The weather tomorrow is disappointing to me. Um, you know, uh, this is the type of game that you, you want to see, you know, the best of what each team has to offer, you know, going up against the best of what the other team has to offer. And regardless of who wins or loses this game with, I mean, we're not talking about a little bit of rain. We're talking probably three hours of monsoon type weather tomorrow. And I don't know. I just, uh, I'm a little disappointed that the weather is going to be that way, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about that. But, uh, how many of you gumps uh, listen to the Nick Saban um, radio show every week on Thursday? This guy, you know, this isn't going to do anything to help the, the the cause of the SEC with, you know, these SEC haters who think everybody in the SEC is cutting every corner and cheating at every chance they get. But Nick Saban admitted on his radio show last night that when he was with the Dolphins, and the players would, would come in, the, the draft-eligible players would come in for their interviews or whatever and take this Wonderlick test uh, that I'm sure you guys have heard about. But anyway, basically he said uh, the Dolphins organization had a minimum score, basically, that a, a, you know, a guy would have to make on this test before the Dolphins would ever, even consider drafting him. And if Nick Saban really liked a particular player... Uh, but he wasn't able to make the score on that Wonderlick test. That he would call, he he would have the player come back in to retake the test, uh, which Nick Saban would personally administer uh, to the guy. <laughs> Nick Saban would read the test ahead of time, then tutor the player before the test, basically telling you know these are the questions and these are the answers. And then he would give the guy extra time to take the test, lie about the time that it took, because the, the time that it takes you to take the Wonderlick test factors into your overall score. So basically, you know, he cheated, uh, basically. Uh, which I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm not saying that's the end of the world in NFL football, but the point is he saw a corner that he could cut and he cut it. So I guess we'll have to wait till six or seven years after he leaves Alabama and then he can give an interview talking about all the ways he cheated and cut corners at Alabama. I don't know. It's really disappointing. Um, I, you know, I guess when you're in Alabama, you have to do what you have to do, but uh, really disappointing. Um, but anyway, shout out to all the video makers this week on both sides. This has been one of the funnest eight weeks I've had in my two seasons in the TTC. Uh, probably has been the funnest. Um, hate week that I've had in the TTC in my two years here, but, um, so shout out to all the Georgia video makers, um, Magnum, Junkyard Dog, Big Dog, UGA Dog, um, Carson, um, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody, and all the Gump video makers too, um, Haas, John Boltz, Ramajama Taylor, uh, Crunk Man, uh, big country mud cat, uh, which is the epitome of every Alabama fan on earth. Uh, and last but not least, Law Tide. Uh, and before I end the video here, I don't know if I've ever given Law Tide the, the credit for this or not before, but if it weren't for Law Tide, Uncle Lou wouldn't even be in the TTC. And God knows the TTC needed me. Uh, so thank you, Law Tide. Um, I guess he, 
the story, if I remember it right, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I was making videos long before I ever knew about the TTC, and there happened to be a Georgia flag in the back of one of my videos, and I guess Law Tide saw the video and saw the flag, and he um, commented or something in the comments section about the TTC, and uh, it, it sort of just went from there. He sent me a list of uh, names of, of some TTC video makers. I, I checked them out, and it sort of just started from there. Um, so, uh, shout out to Law Tide, uh, for introducing me to the TTC. Uh, I've made some good friends with a lot of you guys. Um, but anyway, it's been a good week. Uh, so here's to a, a safe game, a healthy game tomorrow, no injuries. Um, it can be a little dangerous playing in this type of weather, but, uh, it'll be a good game. I'm sure. Uh, everyone keeps asking me what I'm going to do if Georgia loses. Uh, that's easy. I'm going to make a crow video, uh, and then I'm going to get on to hating Tennessee. Uh, you know, that's that. Uh, but anyway, um, shout out. Oh, I have two bets this week on the game. For those that are interested, I have a hat bet with Law Tide. Uh, the loser is going to autograph a hat and send it to the winner. And I have a, a, a singing bet, actually, with um, John Boltz. If UGA loses, I have to sing Sweet Home Alabama uh, on Lutube. Uh, and if um, the Gumps lose, then John Boltz has to sing uh, The Devil Went Down to Georgia uh, on Lutube. So those are the bets I've got out this week. Uh, good luck to my dog. Should be a good game. Uh, and until next time. Good morning.